Okay, I want to show you here quickly how to get your shadows working. It's not very difficult, but like all things in Blender, it's easy if you know how and bloody murder trying to figure it out if you don't. So uh, we'll, we'll just use our default cube here and I'm going to add a plane as well with Shift A and just add a plane. And we'll scale that up so we have something to receive our shadows. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Object, Apply, Scale. That way it renders into HTML properly. So we have to change the settings on the object that casts the shadow and the object that receives the shadow. So for the object that casts the shadow, we will come to the Object Panel. And oh, we need to go into Blend for Web Render Settings. That will confuse you and if you don't see that then you don't have the add-on installed I have a video for that you can find a link to that in the description if you're if you're new to blend for web so we're going to come to the object panel and um, look for our shadows so right here we want our cube to cast shadows now if I selected cast only then it would render a shadow on the surface but you wouldn't see the cube at all you would only see the shadow but for this purpose we will use cast and then on our cube or rather our plane we will uh, select receive shadow for that and we can go ahead and render that out export HTML and we're gonna call this shadow and I'm going to go ahead and open that up and we'll take a look, see how it renders. And there's our shadow. And that's using a regular spotlight. I'm going to change it to a sunlight just so you can kind of see a little bit of the difference. So we're going to select our light and come to the light panel and change that thing to a sun. And the way a sun works is the light rays are all going to be going in that direction no matter where it is placed. For example, if if I placed the light below the cube, then all the light is still going to be going that direction. So really the location of the light is irrelevant in sun mode because all rays travel in that direction. So let's take a look at that. Export HTML, blend for web. Okay, and we'll take a quick look at that and refresh. So here's the sun mode, and as you can see, the, the sun is shining down even though I moved it completely under the object because the in the sun mode I don't know if that's hard to understand or not but um, all light rays are going to travel the same direction regardless of where it's placed if I used a point of light that would all be different though so um, we can try a spotlight which is kind of interesting um, let's come to the light mode and try a spotlight and that should cast sort of a, a spot on it and of the the placement will matter in this case and so we'll go file export and there's our spot mode so you could do a lot with that Let's go ahead and take that cube and get a little bit of dynamic action in it. We'll go ahead and rotate it like that and rotate it like that. Then we're going to put a rotation setting on it. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it, hit the N key to bring that panel out. And I'm going to rotate it on this axis, 360 degrees. I'm going to hold the uh, hold the cursor over there while I hit the I key, and that, that should animate it. And let's take a look at that. Oh, I forgot to hit a setting. On our cube, we need to come to the object panel and apply default animation. File, export. There we go. So that should get your shadows up and running. 
you just need to know a few places to click and it's a piece of cake. In the next video we will try for some reflections because that's somewhat related. <laughs>